Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Balance Scorecard Excel template. First, let's go into the Settings page. It allows you to select your language, the year you want to report on, and the month you want it to start. It also allows you to select color coding rules. For example here, if our indicator is above our target, the light will turn green. If it is between 85 and 100%, it will be yellow, and if it is under 85%, it will turn red. Let's go into the Translation tab. Here, we can see we have three languages available, English, French, and Portuguese. The section Another Language will allow you to set up a new language. Simply translate all the expressions listed, then go back into the Settings main page and select the Other option. Let's move on to the Create Indicator section. Here is where you can enter up to 60 indicators with 15 indicators for each category. We have the financial indicators, the customer indicators, process indicators, and learning and growth indicators. Let's set up a few metrics together. We'll start by recording our revenue. This metric is recorded in dollar. And the best direction is towards the top. Meaning the higher the metric, the better. Our second indicator will be the profit. It is a percentage value. And we want this indicator to be the highest possible as well. Let's hit the apply button to make sure our changes are affected. We've already entered dummy data for the other indicator categories and are ready to move on to the next step. The Enter Data tab is split into our four indicator categories. We have the financials, the customer, process, learning and growth. Let's go into our financial indicators and enter data for our two newly created indicators. We will start with our revenue indicator and set a target value of $1,000 for each month of the year. Now for the actual revenue, let's say we started the year under target but slowly worked our way back up above target. Let's move on to our profit margin. We will set the target at 30% for the whole year. Let's now enter the actual values. As you can see, we have already entered dummy data for the other indicator categories. Awesome! We're now ready to look at the results. Firstly, the scorecard. This report allows you to filter either per month, the year to date, or total year. We will select the month of January as an example. Let's look into our newly created metric. As you can see, our revenue was lower than our target in January, 80% to be precise, which means we're in the red, as per what we initially set up in the Settings tab. You can also see the trend throughout the whole year. 
The profit indicator indicates that we are also under target in January, at 90% to be precise. The headlight indicates yellow as we are in the 85 to 100% range. Let's move on. The status view simply indicates the actual verse target for each metric and for each month. As you can see, we started the year in red for our revenue, with our actual revenue being 80% of our target, and ended the year in green as we exceeded our target by the month of July. If we look at our profit, it varies between yellow, slightly under target, and green, above target. Finally, let's check out the dashboards. They are split by indicator category. We will focus on the financial indicators with our two newly created metrics. We can choose to display only the year-to-day data or the whole year. As we've entered data until the end of the year, this doesn't change for us. Let's dive into our revenue. The overall graph is green, meaning we average out throughout the year to be above target. The black line represents the target. As you can see, we started the year under target and slowly increased our revenue to exceed our target about halfway through the year. If we check out our profit, the graph is, here as well, green, meaning we average above target. As you can see for each month, we are either slightly above or slightly under target. That's it. You know everything you need to know about our Balance Scorecard Excel template, and you're ready to start using it now.